it do? It's your girl Lulu and welcome back to my channel. I finally got a new order of Body Bloom a few days ago and had a glass of that to start my day off. It's best to drink it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. It's nice because it contains collagen, prebiotics, and probiotics that can help restore your gut health. And it helps with hair, skin, and nails and digestion. So I've been breaking out like crazy lately, but when I take this every morning, it really does help in balancing things out. And I notice that my skin starts to clear up if I stay consistent in drinking it. So it's definitely my holy grail. So following up with that, I decided to make an immunity shot in my juicer. I added three clementines to dilute it and then added some ginger and turmeric root. And then I squeezed a whole lemon afterwards and then I added some black pepper. So it's important to add black pepper because it helps your body to absorb the turmeric. And you'll notice that a lot in supplements that contain turmeric is that there's like a percentage of black pepper in there to help with that absorption. So I like taking a shot of this every now and then to help in strengthening my immune system. It's loaded with vitamin C and anti-inflammatory properties, making it a very potent immunity shot. So I like to drink it straight sometimes, undiluted, but today I wanted to amp up the benefits by adding the clementine oranges to it. And I like to call this my good morning sunshine shot because this sucker wakes you right up. Like this drink is super spicy, so it's going to burn like an alcoholic shot would, but but, you know just a forewarning in case y'all want to try it i know i look like i was struggling a bit but don't be fooled it tasted pretty good and i love ginger or anything spicy so this drink is right up my alley so if you guys are on TikTok, you guys know that nature cereal has been the next big raid. So I thought I'd test it out today. I used some blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. I couldn't find pomegranate seeds like the original recipe suggested, but I went on without it. I added the coconut water, and let's just say that I probably would have liked it better as a smoothie. I don't know, maybe my fruits weren't ripe enough, or I just didn't like the coconut water with these specific fruits or something. I don't know. But but I really love the idea behind it and the health benefits, of course, but maybe I just need to tweak the recipe a bit in the future for my taste buds to actually enjoy it. But nonetheless, I killed it because, you know, health is wealth and I did it for the nutrients. <laughs> but I mean, I'll probably try it at least one more time in the future. But now on to our main breakfast entree. I'm going to be making some protein pancakes. Now I have been experimenting with my recipe for quite some time now because I'm a low key perfectionist and I want to achieve the perfect recipe in my book at least. So the recipe is still in the works, but they still came out pretty good today. But knowing me, I'm going to keep tweaking it until I reach 100% satisfaction. But I love making pancakes from scratch because I get to control what goes into the mix in which I like to use all clean and healthy ingredients. Another plus is that I really get to pack it with protein from the oats, the eggs, chia seeds, and of course the protein powder. So it's been a go-to breakfast choice for helping me with my gains. I also cooked up two slices of turkey bacon. It's a little healthier compared to regular pork bacon, but it still tastes pretty good, so don't knock it till you try it. And of course, my breakfast isn't complete without some scrambled eggs. I kept it real simple by adding some salt, pepper, and then some green onions and spinach for, you know, extra nutrients. But usually I have my scrambled eggs a bit more glammed up than this, but I was in a rush because I had a few errands to run after this. So that was as good as it was going to get, but still tasted bomb though. I like using 100% pure maple syrup on my pancakes because I ain't about that on Jemima life no more. And maple syrup tastes so much better on pancakes anyways. Breakfast was delicious and it definitely held me over until lunchtime. I also like to take my vitamins in the morning with my breakfast. So right now I'm just taking the hair growth supplement called Nutrafol, but it's packed with a range of vitamins that's great for overall health also. And then a probiotic for women's health. So I did do a bit of grocery shopping today because I'll be making some tacos for lunch and honey garlic chicken for dinner. So do stay tuned for that. But I did most of my shopping today at Sprouts 
And to start off, I bought a package of dates because I'll be making dessert with it tonight. Now, I've always heard of these cotton candy grapes from YouTubers, but I've never been able to find them until today. So I was so excited when I saw them and I just had to get them. And it was my first time trying them. And oh my gosh, they do taste like cotton candy. It's a little sus, but I'm kind of obsessed now because they freaking taste so good. Anyways, the Siete Tortillas I picked up from Good Earth Natural Foods because I couldn't find it at Sprouts. But it's made with cassava flour. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. And the other clean ingredients. And then for my family, I just got some regular flour tortillas. I bought this kimchi from Good Earth as well. I'm not a huge fan of kimchi, but it's good for gut health. So I want to try incorporating a little bit of that with my meals and hopefully I will come to like it in the future. We'll see. But I also picked up some broccoli, some basil, and I love coconut. So I haven't had it in a while. So I bought one today. I bought some butter lettuce for my tacos. These are great to use just as a wrap if you wanted to because they're pretty large leaves. And I also picked up some avocados for homemade guac and then honey for the chicken that I'll be making later on today. I ran out of cayenne pepper so I picked up a new jar of that and then some garlic and some of my favorite peanut butter. I love it because it's just peanuts and salt. That's all it has, simple ingredients as it should. I also got some parsley and cilantro. And guys, my favorite chocolate bar. Love this brand, period, because they make chocolate bars using super clean ingredients. And this flavor is so bomb. It's dangerous because if I'm not paying attention, I could eat the whole bar in one sitting. But just saying, it's like a healthy chocolate Nutella bar. So watch yourselves because you just might get addicted like I am. And lastly, I bought some boneless chicken thighs for dinner. And now it's taco time. So I bought this huge tub of coconut oil from Costco. So for the meat, I like to cook it in coconut oil because it gives it a nice flavor. I diced up half of an onion and sauteed that in the oil for a bit on medium heat. And then I added a pound of organic ground beef to the pan. And I like to break up the meat before adding the seasoning just so that it's seasoned thoroughly. Now for my seasoning mix and let me tell you it is all about the seasoning. I like to use a blend of salt, black pepper, garlic powder, ground cumin, onion salt, and cayenne pepper. So when it comes to cooking, rarely do I ever measure anything out. But for the sake of my viewers, I'll leave the measurements on screen but it's really just adding more or less depending on your taste but do season generously i do one round of seasoning then i stir up the meat and then i do a second round so like you cannot be shy with the seasoning it is what makes these tacos absolutely bomb while that's cooking up i went ahead and prepped some guac my avocados weren't ripe enough so i kind of struggled a bit in mashing it by hand i could have used my food processor but to be honest i wasn't in the mood to add extra dishes to my already full sink of dishes so and mashing it is <laughs> i used three avocados juice of a whole lime some cilantro and a little bit of diced red onions and then i seasoned it to taste with salt pepper and garlic powder And then I roughly chopped up some cilantro for garnishment on the tacos. And then I warmed up the tortillas on the pan for just like a minute on each side. And these are my toppings. We got the limes, of course, cilantro, spinach, tomatoes, and the guac. So I don't eat pico de gallo very often. So I just stuck to simply diced tomatoes because I'm not a huge fan of raw onions. And I had enough of the raw onions in the guac. So that was good enough for me. Now on to the assembly of the tacos. I used the butter lettuce that I bought earlier to help reinforce the base of my taco and then went ahead and added everything else on top. So the camera is making the meat look unseasoned and dry but it's actually pretty juicy and flavorful off camera so don't let the camera quality fool you. <laughs> but these tacos have a perfect balance of protein, healthy fats, fiber, and greens which makes it a healthy, balanced, and satiating lunch option. 
So I've been making these tacos for years and they are definitely a family favorite. So of course I made some for them too, but just on the regular flour tortillas. And oh, oh my gosh, just watching this all over again is making my mouth water because dang, these tacos were bomb AF. I stuffed mine to the max, so I capped out at two tacos, but my, 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 were they good. I don't know, 10 out of 10, as always, obsessed. Okay, so I've seen like a few YouTubers make these peanut butter stuffed dates and they swear by it tasting like a Snickers bar. So I was intrigued. I've never had dates in its complete form like this before, so I honestly didn't know what to expect, but they turned out to be very chewy and sweet and I was impressed. They're pretty good. So I bought the ones that were already pitted to, you know, save me the time and effort. And then to add a little pizzazz to this dessert, I thought, why not add chunks of my favorite chocolate bar, you know? I mean, this may not seem like the most original idea to you, but to me, I felt like an absolute genius because after having the peanut butter dates later on, oh my gosh, I felt like the hue chocolate was the all-star of this dessert. I kid you not. But yeah, I scooped some peanut butter into a bowl and then added the chunks of chocolate and stirred that until it was well incorporated. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I went ahead and stuffed the dates with it and then popped it into the freezer while I worked on melting the chocolate. I used these dark chocolate chips from this brand called Lily's. It's another clean brand that doesn't use sugar, it uses stevia instead. So definitely a good choice when it comes to chocolate as well. I just heated up some water on the stove and then allowed the steam to melt the chocolate. But once that was melted through, I took the dates out of the freezer and then coated just the top side in the chocolate. So with this step, you can wait a little for the chocolate to cool down a bit. But, you know, being the impatient and rebellious person that I am, I did it while it was piping hot and watched as the peanut butter swirled around with the chocolate. But, you know, no biggie. It looked pretty anyways. <laughs> but yeah, I threw those back in the freezer for about 30 30 minutes and then I moved on to dinner but dang these clips are moving real fast anyways for dinner I'm going to go ahead and prep the sauce first for the honey garlic chicken it calls for chicken stock honey and I use coconut aminos instead of soy sauce and then rice wine vinegar now this honey garlic chicken is so good like this is my third time having it and I swear it gets better every time but I went ahead and seasoned both sides with just salt and pepper and then patted it with some cornstarch. I prefer tossing it in a Ziploc filled with cornstarch for a better coating, but I was running low on cornstarch, so I just did it this way. I already had some avocado oil heating up in a pan on medium heat on the stove, and then I added the chicken until it was cooked through. So once I was done frying up the chicken, I added about one tablespoon of butter to the pan and then some garlic and then stirred that around until the garlic became fragrant. With this step, you have to move quickly because garlic burns pretty fast. So I added the sauce to the pan and then immediately added the chicken. I let that reach a boil and then after a few minutes of boiling, I turned the heat down to low for the sauce to simmer and reduce. And then I turned the chicken over so that it is fully coated in the sauce. Once the chicken reached a good coating, I transferred it to a serving dish. I also had some broccoli boiling in some salted water just to, you know, have some extra veggies on my plate. And then I topped the chicken with red chili flakes and parsley and mwah, voila, dinner is ready. I'm really trying to work on upping my intake of veggies so I filled half of my plate with some spinach and then some rice and of course added the broccoli 
dinner was on point tonight like shout out to the person who made this recipe because it is one of my favorite dishes to make and oof i had so much good food today and i hope y'all enjoyed the food content i love sharing some inspo with you guys on how to eat healthier without it having to be boring and plain so i really hope you guys liked it but i took the pb dates out of the freezer after 30 minutes and let that sit at room temp for a bit and i was impressed by how good they tasted i mean it really does taste like a candy bar and like i said earlier the huge chocolate bar it added was the perfect touch but my sweet tooth was satisfied with just the one and that was how i ended the night oh wow Ooh. that's good but thanks so much for watching guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video of course don't forget to subscribe and i will catch up with y'all in next week's video but until then bye